specifically um, the any and sdat folders and then cover how to uh, go over overriding uh, how which sdat is loaded and also loading multiple any files um, so for the first step here again we're going to go over the uh, the the, um, the file format folder format when you install devware it goes to a default of c slash obtina imaging which is what we've done here and now there are quite a few files here we're not going to go over the act these individual ones um, mainly because the re register wizards are all covered with shortcuts as we saw under the start menu all programs uh, aptina imaging tools there's all your register wizards some of the um, standalone tools which we will cover in subsequent um, training videos, documentation, so on and so forth. Um, so go back here instead. Again, we're going to go over these individual folders. So the two main folders that um, you would mostly be interested in if you were going to mess around with this folder at all is the apps data for the any files. And as we'll scroll down here, we'll see our favorite, which is the P111. That's the uh, SOC 5140 that we've been experimenting with. Scroll down here. This looks familiar, right? Demo initialization. We did that in one of the first videos. And then if we go to the sensor data folder, uh, we'll scroll down again and we'll see the P111 um, folder. Now, uh, a quick aside here, one of the things that we have the, uh, is for the SDAF files, these are in XML format. And included with Dever are these two style sheets. So um, I'm going to double click this right now because I've set this up in advance. And it's going to open up the XML as if, um, as if it, uh, well, using the style sheet, which is a lot nicer way of, of looking at this data. Now we'll do the same thing here for grins. Let's go ahead and open this up um, with WordPad. And you'll see the actual S XML. And that's, you can read it. It's just not very easy. <laughs> now you will notice up here that there is this warning that if you're reading this you're not taking advantage of the XML style sheet and here's the document. Now I'm not going to go over the, de the gory details of this. I'm using IE7 but when you open this file and again this particular these instructions are located at the very top of the sensor data folder. There's that file. Um, whatever um, um, the popular what we've done is cover the popular web browsers and follow the instructions for years. I did IE7 and so um, you do those instructions. It has to be I, I, IE7 or better. And, um, and then the other thing you have to do is just associate uh, the, the application with the file. So what we've done there, and that's a simple process. You, you do have to do this after you've set your settings in your, um, uh, in your uh, specific uh, browser, is you go and right click and do properties. And you'll notice what here under the type of file I've set uh, opens with Internet Explorer. And then you want to do the same thing for the LDAT. Now if you remember in the initial training when we did a right click on the register dialog and it showed the, uh, the data sheet, the detailed, um, that's what this file is. And again what I've done there is associate that with Internet Explorer as well. So if I double click the LDAT file, it'll open up with the style sheet. And there's all those long descriptions. Um, I can't remember which one we looked at. I think it was Heartbeat. But um, you can go ahead and uh, you know, search for that if you want to. Uh, I guess it's not in there. Anyways. Um, and you can find the detailed description if you'd like. Again, those are also available inside Devware. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to close this file back up. So again, nice way of looking at this. Um, back to the SDAT file, uh, what's nice is it has shortcuts in for each individual page. So for example, if we go back here and we're looking at the, let's say, SOC1, color pipe controls, zoom window, so on and so forth. Um, if we go back to the, um, that the this that's what you'll see. These are all the definitions inside the SDAT file. And so as you would expect, the, ref the devware, so for example, color pipe control, 3210, uh, default to 7D, F8, um, read, write, so on and so forth. Color pipe control has the same sort of thing. There's the registers for it. And there you go. So let's go ahead and close up that raw one. Um, so a nice little, nice little way to look at the gory details of the SDAT file. Um, sometimes you want to do that, don't necessarily have to, but it's certainly available. Okay, so next thing I wanted to cover was um, any file, uh, open additional any files. Now again, you notice that you remember from our previous training, the, the default any file is, un, is represented by the default presets with those um, uh, custom toolbars. Now let's say that we have a, for whatever reason, we have a special one that we want to do. Um, and what you do is you go in, uh, to the, uh, under the file, open additional presets. 
and I'm going to go to I just click the desktop. Remember the mono preset we created? Let's double click that. That's going to load that up. And um, and there's the toolbar for mono. Now, unfortunately, uh, actually here's and here's the mono on to enable monochrome. And if I double click this, um, it'll do mono on. And remember, we didn't really create one to turn mono off, so let's go turn that off. And then also, if you wanted to click the toolbar there, it'll do the same thing. So this is a really nice way of, of being able to uh, create your additional any files that you want and um, and open them up very easily and even with toolbars and if let's say that you want to get rid of this now if we do a close here you notice that mon mono went away and that for that test custom toolbar so what this allows you to do again is open up additional um, additional preset files additional any files as, you, as you'd like all right one of the other uh, items under here that you may use from time to time is probe for devices. So again, the way we have dev DevWare set up by default is when you start DevWare, it automatically probes for devices, does automatic, but you can reprobe if you want to. And here you notice, if you remember, it goes through the same startup uh, procedure as if you'd started DevWare from scratch. And here it found, as we expected, the P111 again. And if we just do a finish here, it'll go through and, uh, and restart there. Now the last thing I wanted to cover um, was um, the um, loading of a separate SDAT. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to create a new folder. I'll just call it temp, one of my favorite names. And in temp what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over the SDAT file and the any file for this part. Now there may be times where you're given um, a custom um, any file, SDAT file, for whatever reason. It may be because you have a special patch for the part, uh, special settings, a customer module, what have you. And uh, the main reason you would do that is because the default any and SDAT file aren't going to work for you. You need a customized one. So what you can do in DevWare is you could copy that custom SDAT and any file to your regular installation folder and then the, the probe would work automatically. Um, you certainly can do that, override those if you want, it'll work just fine. But if you do another way of doing it, and it's kind of the preferred way is to create the separate folder, and then when you go into DevWare what you can do is you can say open sensor data file. Now, so if we go here on the desktop and temp, you'll notice there's the one I copied over, right? I'm going to select that and open it. It's going to go ahead and open that. and go through kind of sort of the probe and there's our and there's our standard startup wizard now it's pointing to this now you notice here that the the path is not the same as the default maybe you didn't notice that the first time but it's basically going to if I do an open file here there's my um, under my desktop and um, under the temp folder is where that's located and then um, let's cancel that and then also what you'll notice over here is that the SDAT file says force. Now here's the only drawback to this when you when you open this now is that you're going to get this error about the XML file. That's because that um, the um, um, that style sheet was not located in the temp folder. It has to be in the same folder as the SDAT. Now if we we're really um, trying to be um, complete about this what we would do is we could co copy um, the two style sheets in here as well if you wanted to. Again you don't have to and whoops and then when we open up the SDAT file we'll get the actual style sheet formatted SDAT uh, eventually there we go kind of a very small item there but anyway something nice again so this is an, a really nice way of being able to do customized SDATs and innies um, if uh, again if you get uh, if you get in that situation when you need one and um, the only th the uh, the last thing I want to mention about that is that if you do want the any to be opened um, itself, and again, let's go back here again real quick. When you open your SDAT file, you're selecting the SDAT file. If the S if the any file has the same name as the SDAT file, it will automatically be opened with the any file. And just for grins, let's go here and uh, let's mess up that any file name. I think that'll be enough of a mess up. And if I go here and I do uh, open sensor data file and select that and open it, um, what you're going to see is that you'll notice here there's no any file associated with that. It's not a big deal. 
if you wanted to unclick that, finish, and then, you know, we're just playing around here kind of. And then if you selected that, right, with that open, I kind of went fast there, but again, let's go back and review. Open additional presets. We select that any, open it up, and there it is, and there's our arterial bars. Now you notice here that these, these uh, icons went away, and that's simply because um, those icons are in the apps folder. Oops, sorry, went to the wrong folder. Apps data folder under icons. And so those are, um, those are relative within the any file. So if we looked at that, um, oops, if we looked at this any file and found one of the toolbars, toolbar, when it goes to icons, it's, it's icon slash. You have to copy the icons folder. A lot of gory details there, but you kind of get the idea of what you're, uh, what you're faced with with a separate any file. But again, it's not a big deal. We deal close, they all disappear. Okay, that's the end of this uh, training. Um, I hope that was informative. Again, this is something that another one of the uh, kind of standard uh, usages that I have for using devware for um, having custom any and SDAT files.